On this episode of The Guest List, it's Adam Scott. Adam Scott, it's Dave Taylor. Can you hear me okay? Hey, Dave. How are you? I'm doing amazing, man. Severance is such a great show. Thanks, no man. surprise, it's getting tons of critical acclaim and award wins, nominations. Why do you think it has resonated so much with so many people? You know, I, I, it's hard to say just because you never know when you're making something, if something is going to work or connect with people. You just always, you know, are crossing your fingers. I've worked on stuff that I thought was great that didn't find an audience. I've worked on stuff that I ended up thinking was like fine and, and did connect. You know, you just never, never know. And so we're all just so grateful that critics liked it, that audiences, that it really resonated with audiences. Um, because when we were making it, we were like, this is super weird. <laughs> so who knows uh, if it's gonna find an audience. And the fact that it did is just so, so great. We're really, really just honored. Yeah, that's wonderful. I mean, besides being weird, it does have amazing twists and turns. Yeah. Do you find yourself as on the edge of your seat reading the scripts as people are when they're watching the show? Oh, totally. Totally. It was, it's just really exciting getting these scripts and, and getting to see where these characters go and the decisions they make and what those decisions end up, uh, end up uh, you know, how they end up affecting um, the big picture. Do you get invested, though, like in, a, in your character and other characters, and you read something and you're like, oh, gosh, I wish it was not that way? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love all the characters and love all the actors playing the characters. And so I just, as a, as a viewer, you know, this part of me is just like an audience member um, reading these scripts and just wanting everyone to be okay, <laughs> you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I worry for them just like I would if I were a, a fan watching the show. That's super cool. Now, besides everybody loving season one, everybody's obviously excited about season two. Yeah. What can you tell us about it that fans will be able to look forward to? Oh, man. I wish I could tell you something, but if I even get a syllable out about season two, like a trap door will open and I'll disappear. So <laughs> I need to keep it to myself for now. I'm so sorry. No, I wouldn't want that to happen to you. That would be too bad. Uh, so uh, obviously... Um, Severance relates and focuses on, you know, the corporate environment. If you weren't a successful actor, do you think you would be able to thrive in that environment? Or do you think you'd be more likely to, you know, be a teacher like your parents or do something else? I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like I would have a, a tough time in an, in an office setting. I would love, yeah, teaching. I would love to be, I've always, like, fantasized about being a journalist, about being a a, a music journalist or a political journalist and going on the road with political campaigns. I would love to do something like that. Um, uh, so something out in the world, I feel, is where I would thrive. I feel like I would do a bad job if I were um, in an office all day. <laughs> well, it's nice that you have that, uh, that honesty about yourself and what you could do. Um, for people that, you know, are in the office setting, I'm sure you've been asked this before, what advice do you think you would have for people to find more joy in their jobs, people that are, you know, sitting around a, a desk at a, at a computer all day? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like for some people that, that's a great job, and they, they, they feel, like, content doing that job, and that's terrific for whatever reason I'm – just restless and and um, feel like I would end up getting fired because of my terrible work skills. Um, but if you can do it, then that's great. I think you know getting outside and and uh, connecting with people is is probably what what I would be trying to do just to to get some balance. Yeah, that's awesome. And now everybody's obviously really excited also about the return of Party Down. What can you tell oh, yeah. us about that show coming back to stars? Yeah, that starts on February 24th. Uh, and it's, I hope people love it. It's, it's, it's definitely Party Down. It's the, the same group of people, uh, same writers, directors, everything. It, I think people are going to love it. If you loved Party Down in the first place, you'll love the new season. I love that. And I also love that you are talking about two shows that could not be more different. You've got Severance yeah. and you've got Party Down. Yeah. So how fun is that 
kind of mixing like the the parts of your acting skills. I love it. I, I I'm just having such a good time getting to get together with my old friends and do Party Down. Um, and while we were shooting the new season of Party Down, Severance was coming out, so it was just a really, really fun time. And I hadn't laughed uh, like like I did on the Party Down set in in years. It was just so much fun. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Adam Scott, for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks, and Dave. And congrats on all the awesome shows. Thanks, man. All right. Bye. Take care.